So this is currently early July, 2024. You're probably seeing it a few months later. And I needed to start making room because I got some big stuff coming in. As of now, I haven't received a statue in about 10 weeks or so, which is all right, but there's a lot of big ones coming. Life size, huge one third scale. And so I started completely redoing everything. And you guys seem to like these types of videos. So uh, I'm cleaning stuff up too. I found this hat. Hey, my name is Mr. X. Welcome to the Extreme Channel. We are giving away $1,000 statues to you guys. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. All right, so this is kind of easy over here. I have the Iron Man Mark 85 life-size, so it's very similar to that one coming in. And it's going to take the place of this MAME arcade game. So while I pull the MAME arcade game out, I'm also going to redo the Thrones a little bit because I decided, if you saw in a video, to trade up. I'm going to go... Instead of this guy, I'm going to go with the prime one who's sitting in the throne. So I'm going to kind of move stuff around in there. There will be a lot more visibility. Anyway, you may have noticed that Han is gone. Han and Carbonate. And uh, when I originally installed him, I tore off the baseboard, which I don't think I have any extra. But I got to fix that. Not a big deal. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that wall. I'm thinking of leaving it blank. But where did Han go? One of the issues I always had is I didn't have a lot of Star Wars collectibles anymore, and they're kind of scattered throughout. Autograph memorabilia, some statues, life-size, and I have a life-size Yoda that should be arriving soon. Which, if you remember, I was going to put in a corner over to the right, but there was all these empty Maja cases in the way. Well, here are the empty Maja cases. By the time you're watching this, they've probably already sold. But I moved them out of the way, and behind them was this loader uh, autographed uh, collage, shadow box. That's going to go upstairs because you're going to find out where Balrog is going to move to. Maybe on this video, maybe not. Well, it so happens that I was going to put the life-size Yoda right there and I was going to put lightsabers behind him. But instead of lightsabers, we have Mr. Solo going behind him. And then it really got me thinking, okay, this is great. I can mount some lightsabers on the wall. I can uh, put Yoda and uh, Han Solo together. These will be moved. But I would love it if my autograph memorabil memorabilia that when you walk in to the basement you see could also go on this wall. Well, I measured and it will work. I'm gonna have to remove the blades from the hilts, which is fine. Uh, I. I never charge them anyway, and I don't like the way they look when they're uh, that color. It'll save me a lot of space and look a lot cleaner. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, hang on. By the way, Richard Dreyfus signed that. Isn't that cool? So I'm talking about this Star Wars stuff. So first of all, we have a hilt, Daisy Ridley's uh, lightsaber here. Now if you're wondering, really, Mr. X, you did that with The Last Jedi? I bought this before the movie came out. Guilty. Uh, Mark Hamill signed a uh, uh, Skywalker saber here. And then, of course, uh, Adam Driver, a.k.a. Riot Color Ren. But this is my pride and, pride and joy right here. It's a shadow box. has uh, James Earl Jones. Uh, uh, I almost couldn't say George Lucas's name. Uh, Frank Oz, Mark Hamill, um, Anthony Daniels, uh, Peter Mayhew. Um, of course, uh, why can't I think of Princess Leia's name? Carrie Fisher. Uh, Harrison Ford to sign the blaster as well. This is going to move as well. So it's going to leave some blank spots up here, but the exciting stuff is the stuff I'm moving down is actually like Terminator autograph stuff, which will fit really well right there, as well as uh, I'm going to put Iconic coming down, and you're going to see it completed. Pulp Fiction, uh, a shadow box with all the Pulp Fiction uh, cast signed it. Iconic movie when you walk into the basement. So I think that'll go well there. However, as I'm working on this and moving all that, I've got to figure out a temporary place to put these. So I figured I could put them over here temporarily while I work on some stuff, but then I need to move these to my old Berserk shelf and that's where I'm currently at. I'm working on that right now. Also another side note too, one of you guys once sent me old Biff's cane from Back to the Future and it was kind of off with some life-size props. But I thought, why not wall mount it next to the Christopher Lloyd and uh, uh, Michael J. Fox signed uh, 
Yeah. So I'm really excited about some of this. So this is my future Predator alien display anyway. So that's what I'm working on now, moving these big ass heavy statues. More to come. So I enlisted number one because it's summer vacation, but uh, got this set up. There's the jungle hunter and underneath him are his portraits. For now, city hunter, we're gonna pray it goes next to him. By the time you watch this, it might already be there. Uh, got the aliens down here for now. Uh, not how I wanted it or envisioned it, but it never is. Space is always an issue, it seems. And then started moving these pieces over so I could get access to this wall to move the Star Wars shadow box over here. And uh, temporarily put Jaws over there for now. And uh, let's keep at it. Although it'll probably be another week or two before this next segment you're gonna see in one second. All right, what's crazy is this is still the same day. Uh, unfortunately, Mrs. X is sick, so uh, I like to hang out with her usually, but uh, still going to town. Now I ran into a little problem. I wanted to use some of the existing screws so I didn't have to screw new holes in my wall. Now, unfortunately, that has created a number of problems. Problem number one is while this is level, the ceiling is not level, so there's a tiny little error there. Also, I wanted more room on the bottom to display the hilts kind of right there, so I don't know how that's gonna play out. I'll still have room over here, I suppose, so I'll have to figure that out. But uh, yeah, got the uh, dioramas in a temporary spot for now. Gonna move over some of those so that's less cluttered. Uh, that's where some of the, the horror non-vampire stuff is going anyway, is right there. So uh, I don't know if I'll get to that today, but it is uh, Star Wars Wall is definitely coming a long faux show. So I was actually planning for this to take a few months because of my limited availability, but Mrs. X, uh, bless her heart, uh, has been sick all weekend. So uh, we don't, we had to cancel all of our plans. So my plans have been staying down here and uh, doing a lot of work. So got this part done, um, not done, but uh, moved. Uh, semi happy how it turned out. I think the spacing is good. The uh, chair blocks a little bit of the mass, which I'm not a fan of. I still need to secure Han Solo. I do have a plan for all the lightsabers. Actually, three was down here helping me um, where we're going to figure out what wall mounts we need for lightsabers. We're going to get them all wall mounted as well. And uh, little guy asked, he's like, can I have this one? Yeah, of course you can. So um, he took, uh, he's taken one of the generic ones, but uh yeah, so, so far, pretty happy, uh, other than that little part of it, and uh, still a lot more to go, uh, but I also got this temporarily rearranged. We have uh, vampires and werewolves, uh, a few changes to this, howling one-third, and uh, potentially some future pieces from uh, PCS uh, as they continue the horror line of, of werewolves and vampires. Uh, then uh, temporary over here, uh, have the dioramas, which will eventually go to another place. And then some horror pieces on the bottom. This will be, uh, I don't want to spoil it. You still got to have a reason to watch the full room tour when it's done. So we will continue. All right, so this is going to be the last clip of this video. Again, if you want to see more uh, how it ended up, make sure to not only like this video, but sub to the channel and hit that bell notification. There's still a little bit to do on this wall right here. A few lighting things I definitely need to work on. And probably by the time you see the room tour, City Hunter will be right there. And I need to mount the lightsabers to the wall. And of course we have the life-size Yoda coming. So, but that's it. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I thought this would take weeks. And unfortunately, due to Mrs. X being sick, it took about a day and a half off and on. Thanks for watching, guys. As we try to grow this channel, we like to reward you guys for watching and subscribing. So because of that, every 5,000 milestone when it comes to subscribers, we give away a couple thousand dollars worth of statues. We've actually given away over 20 statues. To win one is easy. First, you gotta be subscribed to the channel. You'll get bell notifications when videos drop. Each video that drops, you wanna make a comment on those videos. We pick a random video, we give away statues. Based on a comment, you can say whatever you want. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win.